What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. Today we're starting from the save select screen because a lot of you guys have been telling me to check out the mystery gift. There's apparently something special for us in there and apparently it is a shiny Modrill. Sounds like my kind of Pokemon, you know, Mo and then Drill. I like drills. Drill, drill, pierce the heavens with your drill. Alright, let's pick this bad boy up and there it is. Whoa. Actually, looks pretty cool. So let's uh, get that from the Pokemon Mart, apparently. Why did I say apparently so many times? Maybe I'm like that little boy that's always saying, So apparently, so apparently we're in a new episode. So apparently you should leave a like if you're excited. And so apparently, let's go to the Pokemon Mart. I'm going to go ahead and stop doing that now. But it's a beautiful morning today. And last episode, we made it here to Mural Town. I guess that's, or Burl Town, not Mural. Why did I say Mural? Merle, you see that new building? That's the Tandor Subway. They have just finished it here and in no touch it was well. That's the best way to travel to distant towns now. That's cool. We can't really use it though. What did this guy say? It's still under construction. However, you can't use it yet. Well, it's there, but you can't use it yet. I'm assuming that that'll come in later on when we actually have uh, cities that are far away from each other and we can use that to get in between towns without having to use fly Which is very very convenient. I like that in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire You know the Eon Flute was a convenient way to travel around without having to have the fly HM Yeah, Pokemon Blue best game ever. I just beat the bad guys out of their lair at the game corner Cool, man. I I've heard of that game. I don't know about the the breaking the fourth wall here though I mean maybe in this Pokemon world the Pokemon games actually do exist it would make sense, you know, they make video games based on their animals. There's a lot of video games based on our real world animals, so why wouldn't they make games based off Pokemon? It's like in this in this world of Pokemon, Cabela's Big Hunter game, whatever it's called, uh, they, they hunt Pokemon. That's pretty messed up though. Hey, welcome to Lisa's Rustic Shop. Would you like to check out our store? Yeah, of course. So this lady sells uh, energy. Um, I got energy, got a lot of energy, so I don't really need her energy, per se. Uh, but let's go to the Pokemon Mart and get our super badass shiny Pokemon. There's the guy. Hello, you must be orange. I've received a gift for you. Here you go. And we're gonna get the Mod- He just disappeared. The dude just disappeared. <laughs> that, that's pretty great. Get a Pokemon, then disappear. Yeah, I would, I would like that. That would be a good power. Just go around popping up in people's houses, and I guess not really their houses, but pop up in Pokemon Marts, uh, and then disappear. You know, it's like you bring your friends joy without them knowing. You're almost like a ghost that just goes around spreading joy by giving people random shiny Pokemon. It's a good time. Sounds like a good time to me, at least. But let's check it out. The original trainer is JV, who's actually the creator of this game, and it's a ground and dark type. Uh, oops. Adamant Nature. Wow, that's actually really good. And it's got Sand Rush. This is a really good Pokemon. Perfect IVs as well. Wonder what IVs our Pokemon has. Eh, actually not bad. Not very good in special attack, but it's still not bad stats at all. Tone me. Okay, I don't know about Tone me. <laughs> Especially that special attack there. Barul. Um, I never actually checked the IVs of my Pokemon. Whoa, this guy's got perfect. Well, he does not have a very good nature though. I don't know, but that's our team right now. I don't know if I should start training up Modrill. Let me know what you guys think of him and if I should train it up. Uh, but yeah, I do want to train some of the Pokemon that we've got now just to see their evolutions because I think they're pretty cool. So today we are taking on the Burol City Gym. I guess, I, I guess there's not much else to do in this town. I thought there would be a lot, but I guess there isn't. Oh, we can go over this way. I don't know if we can actually... Oh, we can! Okay. So instead of taking on the gym, we could go do some more training. But you know what? I'm feeling ready for it. Are you feeling ready for it? Who am I asking that? I have no idea. Let's go do it. Why the heck not, man? YOLO. It stands for something. I'm not sure what. Whoa, the music in here always catches me off guard. It's so loud compared to anything else. But gym guy here, ready to give you some tips again. This time, the leader is Daver. And he specializes in Pokemon found in caves. That's ground, dark, and poison types. Water, ground, and fighting are all good types to take into battle here. Good thing we just got this Modrill. And great thing that he's level 5. That's going to be a, a, an amazing thing. But at least we've got Elitux and we've got Outen. It's probably not going to do too much against uh, the rock types that are in here. This cave is dangerous. Only the menliest men can pass through it. There was another guy that already said that. You can't just take that from him, Todd. 
Who do you think you are? You're not... I forgot the other guy's name, but... You're not him! You can't take that away from him! What is wrong with you? Alright, let's see how much damage out... Whoa! Outen! Outen, you are putting out some really good damage there, buddy! Look at that! Grozard has to rely on critical hits just to take you out. I mean, you're not the fastest Pokemon around. But you got that quick attack, and that makes up for it. Holy crap! Outen is putting in work right now. This is awesome. Like, he might even evolve sooner than we thought. This is, this is, this might be the new Fabi. I'm pretty sure I read a comment that said Outen is the Fabi of this playthrough. We'll see, man. Outen could very well be on, on his way. Then again, uh, it's probably not going to be very good later on in the game because it is one of those early bird Pokemon. Except it's not really, it's like a half bird. So we'll call it an early half bird. Speaking of which, I'm an early bird. Did I just say speaking of which twice? I don't know. I'm an early bird today because it's 7 a.m. and I'm already up. Or I haven't gone to bed yet. One of those two. I'll leave it up to you guys to figure out which one. Probably the latter. Not ladder as in like the ones you climb up, but the ladder like, you know, like I, I haven't gone to bed yet. That's basically what I'm trying to say. But there are rock smashable rocks in this gym. And inside them we can find Barules. I'm not sure why, but do a Barule roll as someone said. Uh, that, was a, that was a pretty good one. I don't know how I didn't think of that one before. What are some other uh, barrel things? It's like, uh, what is it? Shooting a barrel full of monkeys or something like that? It's like shooting a barrel full of monfernos, chimchars, mankeys, mankeys. That's the one. I was thinking of what's the Pokemon name with, with monkey actually in the name. It's Mankey, of course. Uh, but I guess there are also some bug types in here. The guy said that it's Pokemon found in caves. Usually in caves... I, I usually just find Zubats, but I guess these people find a lot of other Pokemon, because we got Sponies, we've got Barules, we've got, uh, what was the first thing we fought? Grozard, or whatever its name is, and we got Wing Attack, which is a very awesome attack, with attack in the name. So we're gonna learn that. Um, actually gonna do more damage than Peck as well, so... Outen is gonna do even more damage than he was doing before. Let's go, Wing Attack! Ooh, baby, look at that. I really hope this doesn't poison, though. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, man. We are just getting the best luck in the world today. I guess it might be just Outen is a beast. I don't know. Oh god, no way. No, 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 no. This battle can only be fought one way. If you guys saw the last episode, you might have seen the epic battle between Magikarp and Barul. This has got to go down again. I'm sorry. This is just, this is way too, too hype of a battle. Magikarp versus Barul. It's history is repeating itself. This this is unreal right now. Okay, maybe it wasn't as exciting as the first time, but you know, still, still that Magikarp hasn't given up, never will give up. The next Pokemon coming out is Braillip. Uh, I have no idea what that is, but judging by the sound of its name, I'm gonna say Bra. Oh, I was gonna say Braille, but I guess it's for brain. That's a bit. That's a bit of a weird-looking Pokemon there. It's a uh, brainfish, I guess. It's kind of cool though. Not gonna lie, I like it. Ooh, confusion. So uh, maybe half psychic, half water type. Looks to be the way. I wouldn't think of this thing being in a cave though. And they said that I guess maybe it's just the gym leader uses Pokemon that you find in caves, cause uh, I don't know if you would find this in a cave. Maybe in a little pond in a cave. Just like. It's like a, it's a it's a brain fish though. Like why would you just find a pond full of brains? I don't know. Unless we're talking like uh, zombie apocalypse here, where a bunch of zombies just kind of keep their brains. They want to keep them fresh, so they throw them in like ponds. I don't know what I'm saying. They don't know how to use fridges, so they just use a pond as a refrigerator for the brains that they're gonna eat later. There we go. I connected it somehow. Zombies are not smart enough to do that though. Uh, but anyway, we got another trainer. Yeah. Is this Froggy Fresh? Is he showing us that he can be like Bruce Lee? Nope, he's showing us he can be like Jang. I'm not sure who Jang is. Is it Django? Is it like... The D... The D went from being silent to just not being there anymore. That's what it is. And then the O as well. The O just disappeared. That's what it is. I... I found... I found the explanation. I'm... Genius. Anyway, uh... Here's another Tony. I still don't know how to say that Pokemon's name, but... Outen, thankfully... Being a beast, just dodging attacks left and right, and not getting poisoned uh, whenever there is a poison type attack. 
And there goes Gang. Looks like you're manly, all right. Why is everyone all about being manly? Don't you guys know? Sometimes you can be womanly, and that's okay. Big Hero 6 taught me that sometimes you gotta woman up. You know, you know, it's not always about manning up. Sometimes you can woman up, and that's fine. Looks like there's a place to put an item in there. Maybe a gem of some kind. Uh, what? Excuse me? I don't have a gem of any kind. Am I... Do I really... Like, are we not allowed to do the gym yet? Really? I mean, we were doing pretty good against the trainers there, but I don't know. Maybe we have to smash the rocks? Yeah. Okay, can you give me some tips that are actually helpful? Like, what am I supposed to do about that gem? Alright, well... I was gonna go heal up anyway. Um, but I... I guess... I'm gonna guess that the gem is not randomly found by smashing rocks. Turns out I was entirely wrong and the gem that we need to fight the gym leader is, after all, found in one of these rock smash rocks. So we're just gonna keep smashing away at all these rocks until we find it. It might take us years, it might take us an eternity, but we're gonna find it eventually. And I don't think it appears on any specific rock or anything like that, so we're literally gonna have to go through each and every rock until we get it. Um, I think it might just be at random. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's at random though. Uh, so yeah, any one of these could could have it. So we're just gonna keep going, and hopefully we find it soon. Are you kidding me? Why can't we escape? Why? Why? Why do you do this to me? Come on, Grozard. I'm not in the mood for this right now. See, I'm not in the mood. Oh, or we could, you know, kill it in one hit. That's cool too. I don't want Bashan up first though. I kind of want to put Tony, but. Gotta stick with my boy Outen. He's been he's been doing a good job, so I'm gonna stick with him. All right, let's keep on smashing away at these rocks, though. Um, we saw quite a lot of them on the way to the gym leaders, so this might take us a while. I've said that a couple of times now, but all I'm saying is there's a lot of rocks, um, and I really thought that it wouldn't be that wouldn't be the puzzle because it just feels like that shouldn't be the gym puzzle, like. I thought maybe it would be on one of these rocks, you know, the regular ones, not the Rock Smash ones. What the heck? We can see the gym leader right there. What a tease, man. What a tease this gym leader is. Like, everyone that I've ever met. What what a tease. I'm just kidding about that one. Um, Gozards we can take out, because they're not rock types, so let's go for it, man. That free experience preparing us for the gym battle. I love it. Hey, there's the little pond of Brainfish. I knew it was somewhere around here. Talking about how uh, there was... You know, you can keep pods of the brain fish. Th this is one of them right here. Hey, there's something in the ground. It's a bright gem. And, of course, the jingle goes on even while we can run away. So now that we got the bright gem, we can fit that right in there. And bada bing, bada boom, we can fight the gym leader, Draven. Well, his name is Darvin, but it's close enough. Let's go ahead and save the game just in case. You don't know. We don't know what's going to happen here. Let's do it. Hey trainer, congrats on making it here! You know, as a kid, I always loved caves and the Pokémon that lived in them. So when I grew up, I decided to make it so everyone could access and explore them. I built this gym, you know, and helped dig the passage through Comet Cave. But caves are dangerous! The Pokémon in them are powerful. Show me that you're not afraid! I'm not afraid! Uh, I don't know the song. This dude's got, like, the kind of mustache that I have. He d you can't even see the mustache in this sprite, though. Looks a lot older with it, must say. Kind of looks like a teenager right now. Or like about our age. So he is leading off with a Barul. Probably the worst thing that could have happened to us. Or not, because we do have Bosh on now. So I guess we could go into him and low kick it. Then again, you know, we got that uh, a nice reflect going up. So good thing we went into Elitux, because special attack is going to beat this guy right up. Can we get the static? Not gonna get the static. It doesn't matter. Rock types are super slow anyway. So there goes his first Pokemon. Gotta say, so far the gym's not terribly challenging. Um, but I suspect things will change in a little bit. Uh, so next up we've got Modril. Thankfully we got one of those, so now we know that it is dark and ground type. Meaning that Outen might not do too bad against this. I'm gonna go for it anyway, just cause... Man, Outen has been doing really good so far. We also get to see what the non-shiny version looks like. Gotta say, I, got, I kinda like the shiny more. Uh, this one does have that golden drill, just like Gurren Logan, Pierce the Heavens, you know? Uh, but, actually, I think the shiny one also has the golden drill. It looks even more like Gurren Logan, doesn't it, the shiny one? I don't know. I don't really remember it anymore. 
I should remember it, because we have one, and we haven't really gotten to use it very much anyway. Uh, but it looks like his third Pokemon is going to be a Grozard. Okay, I just want to check the summary. Yeah, it is still golden. It's golden, blue, and red. Are you kidding me? That's exactly the Gurren Lagann uh, color scheme. Alright, I don't know if this is his last Pokemon. I don't think so. Uh, but we're not going to take it lightly at all. We're going to, we're going to, oh god. It's got Bulldoze. That is not good for us. We're going to get our Speed Drop too. Really hope we can get like a, ooh. Okay, okay. I see how it is. You're going to use that potion. Alright, that means you're dead, son. Goodbye. I guess this was his ace Pokemon, but it was not his, uh... I couldn't come up with a rhyming word. He's gonna try to make a pun. Never mind! He does have one more Pokemon, and it is Tofu Rang. I have no idea what the heck that even is, so we're gonna go into Barul. Because he's got Sturdy, so he can at least get off a hit before we die, at least. You know? And there's Tofu Rang! This isn't over yet! Oh my god. I've just realized what this is. This, this is what Tony evolves into. This. This is what Tony evolves into. We've just met our maker. And he looks like Eeyore ate a couple too many pots of honey. What the? Did we really just get... What? We just got... What? In oh, infestation. I was like, what did we get hit by? Okay, so if this is truly the evolution of Tony, that means it's probably a poison type. He didn't say he had poison types. Holy crap. Why does this do no damage? Alright, well, we can just hope to kind of uh, lower his accuracy and keep hitting him with that. This thing is so tanky! Are you serious? This reminds me of Viola's battle because all she does is infestation you and hope that you whittle away little by little. So we're just going to keep dropping this dude's accuracy until he can't see anymore. And then we'll just swap out to another Pokemon. Because there is no way that we're going to take it out with Barul. Oh god. The fact that it's got Snore makes me think that it has Rest as well. And that... That is making me a little sad, because I <laughs> really don't want to deal with this thing resting on us. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually swap out... Oh, Infestation. Right. Right, right, right. Forgot about that one. That's not good. Hey, we're Steel-type. Can't do that. I actually don't want to switch out anyway, because Outen and Elatux are both pretty beat up right now. And we don't have any healing items. Again, I'm so stupid. Every time, every playthrough, I just for some reason don't buy healing items. I'm so stubborn. And I'm so sorry, guys. I, I always feel like I let you down because I'm... I just forget. I guess... I don't know. I just... I legit... I just forget. Ah, we got afflicted with the thing that we were already afflicted with. How can that be possible? How can you possibly affect me with what I'm already afflicted with? Okay, so at this point, this thing is never going to hit us. It's got no accuracy at all. We're locked into infestation. So we'll just keep little by little mud slapping it away, I guess. There's not much else we can do. Well, eventually, uh, I really, really hope he doesn't use another potion. That, that would, uh, that would really ruin my day right now. My day's going pretty good, you know. My day, my day has been going on for like almost 24 hours now. But it's a good day, 24 hour day, 24 hours to uh, this is a good way to end off the day, by battling a Tofu Rang. This is what Tony will become someday, and I, I am just so thrilled for Tony to become this, I'm not gonna lie. Tony might be cute and everything, but this thing, like, like, let's be real guys, this is, oh, I just, you, you had to. You just you had to go there. You just had to go there. I didn't mean to actually use hard in there. Alright. Maybe it'll run out of attacks at some point. Probably not. But we're going to get infested once again. So at least Barul is going down soon. We're already out of mud slaps. But this thing's accuracy is so lowered that honestly, is it ever going to even hit an attack on us? Nope. Look at that. It missed. It wouldn't have affected us anyway. Alright. I think we get one more hit on Barul. And we're going to die. Uh, Poison Fang. Okay, that, that doesn't affect us either. But that's okay. You gave it. I give you an A plus for effort. Finally! Or not. We're still not taken out. Are you serious, dude? This, this is, this is real. I take it back. Barul versus Magikarp was cool. But this here is the most intense battle ever in this game. 
Now it's time to meet your real maker, Tofu Rang. It's time for Tony to step in and take you out. That's right. The son will take out the father. This is like Luke versus Darth Vader all over again. This is this is it. This is like uh what's another father son fight moment? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not very good at references it looks like. Whatever. You can think of a reference, guys. I don't know. Critical hit and I'm going to survive anyway. Meet your maker. Oh my god, are you kidding me, Tony? Tony, this was your battle, bro. What happened? All right, you know, we're infested anyway. We can't swap out. Oh my god. Are you serious, dude? Are you for real? Look at the HP! How? Come on, man! All I wanted was for Tony to get that kill. That would have been so good. But, things are not meant to be, it looks like. So, Outen just comes in and then steals the spotlight. But that's okay, because another gym has been defeated, and another badge we're gonna get here. Nice job, kid! You showed yourself and your Pokémon to be brave above or below ground. You definitely earned the Bright Gem Badge. Here, hand me the stone you found on the way here. Click, and here we are. Yeah, that thing you used to open the door was actually the badge. Surprise! Uh... So, hmm. Let me tell you something, Dayburn. Now I can just go outside and tell my friends, like... Yo, did you know that the Bright Gem is actually the badge? So you can just go in there, smash some rocks, and boom, you got yourself the badge. You don't even have to battle the gym leader. So I don't know if that's too smart of you to do that, Dayburn. But, I mean, I guess you trust your battlers, your challengers enough, that they won't do that to you. So, uh, I'll give you that. You've got, you've got them trust. That, that trust. You've got that trust with your random people that you don't know. But anyway, I guess that is going to be it for this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry Tony couldn't have his glorious moment. It was just not meant to be. It almost happened though, but it just was not meant to be. Maybe next time Tony will have his moment. Maybe next time. Goodbye!